So welcome back for another week. Um, today we're on the way to Dublin. I'm up for my uh, follow-up appointment with the surgeon about the knee, but we're doing some testing as well today. So they kind of like put me through strength testing and jump testing um, to see where it's at and kind of give me an idea if I'm on the right tracks or I need to do a bit more work or maybe what areas I need to focus on. So I'm looking forward to it and it'll be good chatting to the, the surgeon just to kind of see what his thoughts are and maybe give me a timeline to when I could hopefully be back or when I could sort of aim for. Um, so I'm going to try and get some videos of it. I think it should be okay. I don't think they should have any problems with me videoing them, but um, or at least videoing the exercises. So, yeah. Kick, 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 and pull, 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 pull. That's it, Oshin. And again, kick, 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 and pull, 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 pull. That's it, all the way out. Kick, 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 and pull, 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 pull. Last two now, all the way up to the top, and pull, 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 and kick, 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 all the way up, and pull, 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 pull. Okay, so testing all finished up. You seen the picture I put up there with the results? Um, the jumps were were pretty good. Um, like. The mechanics of them were good and the jump height and power and all was good um i think one thing i have to work on is like my reactiveness so being a wee bit more reactive off the ground but like overall the jumps and the running assessment was was really good apparently um they were happy with it uh the strength i had like a pretty big deficit between the left and the right um i think my right leg strength was really good which made the deficit even bigger um so I mean that's one area now you have to target is the is the left side a lot so working on the left quad strength, um, but I mean overall they seem to say it's in a good in a good place and um, kind of should be setting me up well to get back to play which is good and it's kind of nice to know where you're at with that because you're always wondering um, like are you further ahead than what you should be or are you not so it's nice to get a bit of an insight in some baseline scores. So it's been about a week since the testing. Um, kind of just forgot to take a video, but I know we're here. Just kind of reflecting back on the test, it probably like probably just highlighted the importance of that left leg strength. You kind of think because the strength is going up in the big lifts that it's going to equate to both sides, but it, it didn't. So something to work on, something to focus on. I just finished up doing some leg extensions today to try and even up the strength. So that's something I'm working on. Finish up a wee bit of yoga as well, getting back into that. Um, Doing yoga with frankly yoga, um, they do like he does like one to one sessions, which are pretty good. And it kind of is taking the knee into different ranges and motions, which I'm not normally doing in training, which is good. Um, so I'm doing that once a week. So this morning I'm just going to get into a wee bit of cardio. So with that workout there, I was going three minutes on exercise, one minute off and kind of moved to the next one. I'm doing it at like a 70% pace, so you want to be like, good kind of way of putting it as like a conversational pace, so you can hold a conversation if you're doing them. Um, I like to kind of do them, so I usually do a workout like that twice a week, um, and it'll usually be on the days where I'm kind of not wanting to do too much in the legs because maybe I've just done like a lower body workout the night before or a brilliant workout the day before but I still want to kind of keep taking over so usually I maybe only do that twice a week, once a week um, but it's quite a nice workout, I just put like a timer on the phone um, like a wee round timer and um, 
it's not too bad it gets a bit of a sweat up which is kind of what you want the other days then i'm doing like the workout i put up last week the run and workout and then i put up a few other ones on instagram this week um i'm doing them maybe three times a week like a monday wednesday friday or monday wednesday saturday um along with some sprint training so the focus at the minute is get back building up so get the speed back and start building it up and um, keep working on the aerobic condition, which is kind of what you're doing there, where you're going at like a steady pace, but going for longer. Um, same with like the tempo runs, it's all about building that aerobic pace. So that's kind of the focus, the focus there. So one thing I wanted to chat about, just as I put up this workout of me doing some sprints, and I'm feeling good in the sprints, feeling like I'm getting back to top speed, is like one of the reasons why you're maybe not getting faster, even though you're doing lots of strength work and you're seeing improvements there. And this is like something that happened to me where for the past couple of years the focus is on get stronger get more powerful and you assume that that's just going to carry over onto the field and you're going to get faster with that um but it's only probably in maybe the past like year that i've realized that you really can't get better at sprinting unless you practice it and treat it like a skill it's like football you know you don't expect to be better kicking points if you've done gym work because it's so specific it's kind of the same thing so I mean, in your program right now, if you look at it and you're not really doing any sprint work, you're probably going to limit the amount of improvement you can get in it. Uh, I'm doing 10, 20, 30 and 40 meter sprints. Um, and really when you start to hit 30, 40 meters, you can really start to feel yourself hitting top speed. Um, and that's where I think a lot of improvements come and that's where like the intensities that are on your body and the forces that are going through your body are unlike anything you can get in the gym. Like there is a bit of research out there to suggest that like whenever you're in top speed sprinting, now this is an Olympic sprinters, but you can get like three to five times your body weight on one of your legs whenever you're hitting the ground. So there's like no way you could do that in the gym with anything. Um, so it's a very specific strength, a very specific intensity, and the forces are just unlike anything you can train in the gym. So it's really hard to even train it specifically in the gym too. So I guess probably just the takeaway from it is that if you're looking to get faster, make sure you're including some sprint work in your programming. It doesn't have to be that much, maybe one, two times a week. Do your range of distances from 10 up to 40 meters and only do like a few reps of it you don't need to do piles and piles of them and give yourself plenty of rest your intensity is high um like anything you got to be specific if you want to improve it and that means actually doing it um so yeah i'm feeling fast here though on these here which feels good um i'm going to get my gps out next week and um start kind of tracking the speeds on it but um yeah i think that's pretty much everything for this week because we a bit of a disjointed one because i kind of forgot to record after that testing but i um, hope you enjoyed it anyway and um i'll probably do a video maybe next week going over like my strength program and what i'm doing for it um because it kind of changed up uh my training this week so see you then